Hi Stampers! Today I wanted to show you how um, to make this impressions plate background. Um, so we're not going to really be making the card as much as just the background, but I wanted to show you how you can use those impression plates. And by impression plates, I mean any kind of plate that you can put down and um, use to actually get a firm impression into cardstock. Um, this is the background that I'm going to be using today. This is called Depressed, and it kind of reminds me of wood a little bit, so that's why I'm using this. Um, this is a distressed looking background. Um, but I've also, I'm going to show you that you can do any kind of impression plate. It doesn't matter. This is like a floor to lee pattern. Um, and um, it's going to be the same technique, just a different color, a different pattern. So go ahead and use those texture plates in a couple different ways. Um, this is actually called a letter press technique. Um, and this is basically how they do printing techniques. Um, still to this day, they actually use some of these techniques. Um, it's kind of an old-fashioned technique, and um, I just wanted to show you how you can use it and get a little bit more use out of some of the things that you have at home. So let's go ahead and start making this plate, and I'll show you how. Um, again, I'm using the Distressed. I'm using Early Espresso Brown Ink. And I'm going to be taking um, a brayer, and this is basically the easiest way to apply this to these uh, plates. So we're going to go ahead and ink this up really, really good. So I'm going to put a lot of ink on it. Um, these are really easy to clean and wash too, so um, I'm all into you know, making things easy and making my life easy. So I will show you how a very fast and easy way to clean up um, can be done with this. But So we're going to go ahead and just really apply a really good amount on there, as you can see. And you can kind of hold it up to the light, and you'll be able to tell if you have a nice amount on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to kind of look and see. I think that'll be good. So now I'm just going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to go ahead and take my Big Shot machine. And you're going to go ahead and take that texture plate that you've just applied ink to and put that down on top of the multi-purpose pad. And it's going to not have any tabs. It's just right on top of the very first part of the, um, the plate. Um, so you're going to go ahead and put that down. And then we're going to ha take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, place that right on top. Then you're going to take the silicone rubber, which is an accessory to the Big Shot, place that right on top of the paper. And then we're going to actually take this other piece of um, hard plastic. This is actually one of the impressions plates um, that uh, doesn't have any kind of texture on it. It's just a plate that really presses this down much flatter. We're just going to go ahead and run that through the Big Shot. And we'll move this out of our way to kind of show you what we've got. And this is the background you're going to get. So all of that ink has gone into those crevices and been pressed into the paper. So now you can use this as a background on a card. So I just thought that's a great way to use some of your things that you may already have and may not know that there's other purposes for them. Real easy way to clean, so I can just kind of show you real quick. I use baby wipes and my little powder pal tray. And I just stick a baby wipe right in here. And this is how I clean my brayers. And just kind of get all that off. And then to dry them, just run them across a piece of paper. And that gets them all nice and clean. You don't have to worry about that. And then as far as cleaning off your pads and things, I also use baby wipes. Just give it a nice good wipe just to get all that extra ink off. Very, very easy to do. You can actually run these right through a dishwasher if you wanted to, or just um, wash them in you know, soap and water. So they're really easy to take care of and clean and ready for the next go around. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and um, have a great day, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.